Oh, good morning, friends. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm laying on some dumbbells. So as you guessed, this video is about reviewing these dumbbells, Bowflex's adjustable dumbbell set. If you guys don't already know me, my name is Gia and I am the creator of Dough Well. Crave worthy protein treats like cinnamon rolls and bread. Check it out. And I just love to eat, laugh, and lift. <laughs> Welcome. Let's go ahead and just get started. If you guys haven't already guessed, the reason that we got these dumbbells is of course, we are social distancing because of the coronavirus. So the first thing that we did is realize, oh, maybe we shouldn't go to the gym because at that point, the gyms weren't closed down yet, but we were thinking maybe the people that are at the gym right now are the ones that think that they're invincible from getting sick. So we figured, eh, we definitely get sick or I do. Uh, so we stopped going to the gym, but we immediately started looking at dumbbells. Um, I wasn't gonna get them and then my husband brought them up and then I was like, okay, he wants them, we're gonna get them. We got ours off of Amazon and it is the Bowflex ST552D Bell Pair. What we liked about these guys is that each dumbbell goes up to 52.5 pounds on each dumbbell as you can see here. Uh, and because we live in a one bedroom apartment, we didn't have the space to do a whole rack of dumbbells, so we did these guys. We paid just over 300 bucks for this dumbbell set. Honestly, it's worth it, right? If you think about an entire dumbbell rack, those can cost thousands of dollars if you buy them new. Um, so it is a pretty penny, but if you're gonna keep it a long time and you're actually going to use it, it's worth the investment. So let me go into the usability of the dumbbell and what I like and what I don't like about it. First and foremost, again, the dumbbells that we have go up to 52.5 pounds. I think I saw dumbbells that go to 90 pounds each, but it's really easy, as you can see, I just turned this dial and I can change the weight for that dumbbell. Now this dumbbell is gonna lift at 52.5 pounds. For the sake of this demo, let me put it to five pounds just so I can show you how it um, picks up the appropriate number of plates to make it as heavy as I desired it to be. So I put it at five pounds on each side, make sure that you've got it even, and then just grip the middle of the handle and it lifts up just the amount of weight that you need. Can you see that? The rest of the plate stays in the um, the little plate or stand that's that's holding the rest of the plates. If I wanted to take it to 7.5, the only thing with this, guys, is if you're lifting heavy and let's say 52.5 pounds is heavy for you and it's your last rep and you want to put it back in your plate, it might be hard to put it back just because you might be wiggling or something like that, shaking. Um, if that's the case, set it down on the floor and then when you've got energy again, put it back um, into this plate here. Um, the overall dumbbells, I really like them. They are even weight on both sides and each dumbbell seems to be um, well calibrated so that the it actually lifts uh, evenly between the two. Um, the material here, this is hard plastic. Um, this is rubber here, so if you accidentally bang it somewhere, I mean, I wouldn't suggest that you do it on purpose, but if you did, it would be minor damage depending on how, how hard you bang it. And then this grip here is actually made of rubber. Uh, it's a really nice grip, and if your hands get sweaty, mine don't really. Um, the Actually, the indentations are really good to make sure that, making sure that dumbbell doesn't um, slip on you. Let me show you what it looks like when it is out of the rack. So that's just what it looks like. When it comes to usability of the dumbbell itself, it's actually pretty easy. The only thing is, this is longer than your normal dumbbell length. Um, and for most people, or for a lot of people, that may not be a problem. The only thing that I have figured out with it is because I have shorter arms than, let's say, my husband, um, I have to make adjustments with my grip so that if I'm doing, for example, a hammer curl, you see how it very quickly hits my shoulder? I'll have to just adjust my grip such that it goes above my shoulder instead of this. Or when I'm doing a chest press, the dumbbells will hit sooner uh, than you have than if you had a standard weight, which is probably just like that length. And I'll just, you know, uh, change my grip such that I'm pointing my um, pinky towards each other at the top of the the um, bench press. 
but those are the that's the, really the only downside that I see of it I really like it it takes up so little space and it's so cute um, the only other downside is if you guys um, if it's too expensive for you guys that's the only other downside but honestly if you save up money a lot of gym memberships are 50 60 bucks a month a cheap one so if you save up um, five or six months worth of gym membership then maybe you can invest into some dumbbells or maybe just get them um, some used ones and um, see if you can get a cheaper version that way um, but other than that that's a really quick uh, review I really like them and if you have any questions guys put in the comments below um, and if you have any other problems that you see or you know tips you have for people with short arms and have problems with the kind of these longer dumbbells put in the comments below share share your experiences with other people um, other than that guys if you like this kind of stuff um, or if this was helpful um, hit that like button that does help me out um, and if you want to see more content from this mug <laughs> hit the subscribe button there's a notification bell right next to it ding 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 every time this baby gorilla posts a video and if you guys um, haven't checked out do it well already y'all should boom chuckle laka have myself on the back now <laughs> for anyone that hasn't tried do it well yet use code gimme 10 to get 10 percent off your first purchase we are however because of the coronavirus uh, putting a hold on production and baking just to make sure that we don't get sick we don't pass it to anybody else that kind of thing we're, we're all healthy and our facilities are still clean but we're just doing a part so but keep that code handy just in case all right guys that's short that's all i hope that was helpful See ya!